Well guys, it's 9.30 Monday morning and I'm hooked up to my trailer and ready to go to work. I'm just gonna scale it, but I don't even think I really need to. It's only 32,000 pounds, but it's all always a good idea and we do have a scale at this yard, so it's uh, not a problem to do that. Uh, I'm feeling real good today. I got a good night's sleep, although, Remember I said my bunk heater stopped working sometimes? Well, it stopped last night at about 3 o'clock a.m. and I woke up freezing cold again. And I'm like, why is my APU not working? It blows heat for a little bit and then it just starts blowing like air conditioning. So I have to turn it off, otherwise it'll get like even colder. But it gets really cold here in Calgary at night still. Unlike where I'm from where it's like, you know, 15 degrees right now. Um, and not cold at night at all. But anyways, I'm doing good, I'm feeling really energized oh yeah let's get the shit going all right guys we are on the road and uh i edited that video for yesterday and i found out that the audio is actually not too bad as long as i keep my voice up so it's good and i also checked out my uh my dash cam i bought and it's kind of a piece of crap so i'm gonna take it back because it only records a 10 minute loop at maximum um, which means that I can have it filming and then you know if something happens press the record button for it to stop and uh, let it stop doing its thing and then I can press it again and it'll start recording another loop but keep the previous 10 minute loop um, but what happens if something happens, I get in an accident and I'm passed out or, you know, something like that and uh, 10 minutes passes and then it just records over that 10 minutes of footage. So it's not something that I want at all. I want something that records for hours. Um, I think that would be a lot better. So I'm going to take it back. I, I guess that's what I get for a hundred bucks, right? There was many more options they had there, you know, ranging from, you know, $60 all the way up to a few hundred dollars. And when I was buying it, the uh, one of the other truckers at, at Flying J was just like, you know, you're, you're probably gonna return this one. He's like, I bought it, I returned it, I bought a, a Garmin, it's a lot better. And I happened to see the Garmin, but it's, a, you know, 250 bucks or something, but he told me it records for eight hours, which is uh, a lot better. So anyways, that being said, it's a good day. It's not sunny out. That's okay, I cleaned my truck up this morning. I uh, used a little dust buster, cleaned it up. I had a little bit of time, I got up earlier. I thought my PTA was set for nine o'clock start, but it was turned out, it was 10 o'clock, so I had an hour to kind of catch up on stuff, so that's nice. But anyways, we're on a pretty long straight stretch. I'm gonna speed some, uh, some footage up for you, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, I'm at my location and uh, they're going to unload me. I've been here for a little while and they haven't started yet. Their floor, warehouse floor is totally crowded. They have to move a lot of stuff before they can get at my trailer. So I might be here for a little bit, which will give me time to edit my video. But I'm just kind of sitting around and then I have to take this empty trailer back to another customer and drop it at their yard in Calgary, go to the Calgary yard pick up another trailer and uh, and then start driving towards BC and then tomorrow's just a whole bunch of drops in BC ending up in Kelowna. So I'm going to get to editing this and then uh, while I wait I guess and then uh, get back on the road when they're done. Well now I'm sitting about 40 miles away from uh, Calgary and uh, the roads are very clear. There's actually uh, 
nothing on the road as far as snow or ice or even moisture. It's it's quite dry on the road right now. And uh, I haven't seen any indication whatsoever. Oh, there's a car in the ditch. That's funny. I was just about to say that I haven't seen any indication whatsoever of anything in the ditch. But there is a car in the ditch there. Why? I guess he must have gone earlier because oh, here I see tracks as well. Alright, so now I'm starting to see where people have gone in the ditch. But the roads are clear now, so that's good. Oh wow, okay, here we go with the trucks. So there was... Wow, this one's just totaled. Here's another car. Wow, this one's in pieces. Ah, I should have had to hammer the other way. There's a trailer in the middle of the road, completely snapped in half, two pieces in different places. That's crazy, man. That's like the worst truck wreck I've, I've ever seen in person. But the roads are totally clear now, like absolutely clear, dry even. Wow, I'm seeing even more places where people went in the ditch. There's snow, eh? It just like, it gets people. I'm sure that pe some people are, are just really dumb behind the wheel and they don't really pay attention and just go like faster than the speed limit like people do on the highway and don't even think that, you know, they think they're invincible in a car because they've never been in an accident after 20 years of driving. But I'm sure there's people who are driving very defensively and on the road, you know, like going slower and paying attention to the road and stuff, but you know, just bad luck. Well guys, I uh, dropped the empty trailer off and now I'm going to the uh, company yard to go get the other trailer. It's probably gonna be a bit of a long night. I just can't sleep right away as soon as I'm done driving. It just doesn't work for me. Uh, so, I don't know, I'll figure it out or I'll get used to it, I'm not sure. But either way, I gotta go. Well guys, I have arrived at my destination and it is midnight. Um, so I went and picked up my other trailer. I don't even remember what I filmed. Um, when I found out how far this place was away from Calgary, I was actually a little irritated and I was filming and just ranting <laughs> about it. And I, I realized that I'm just pissing myself off more. So, um, but yeah, basically it's like, you know, I gotta, because of that delay, at that last place, that's two hour delay. Um, I got here two hours later, which means my delivery tomorrow morning is eight o'clock, which is just down the street. It's midnight. I have to get sleep, plus I have to get up and have breakfast. I'm gonna eat something now as well. I have to get up, I have to pre-trip my vehicle, do some paperwork, um, do all that kind of stuff. And that's gonna eat up my sleeping time. Um, so it just kind of bothered me that, uh, that it was like this tight of a schedule, but anyways, shit happens and things are the way they are. And right now I'm in, uh, where am I? Invermere, beer, Invermere, BC. Um, holy, what a mountain to go down. I thought that that mountain up by Golden was hardcore. This is, that was nothing. This is like like half an hour of straight downhill. Like I'm talking uh, steeper than anything I've ever done. I had to go down at like 30 kilometers an hour the entire time. Anyways guys, I am super tired. I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm not even gonna pay any attention to you tonight. I'm just gonna say goodbye.